This is CES. This year, there's been a ton of innovation in the accessibility space. We're gonna look at some of the devices made to assist with mobility, hearing, and communication difficulties. Let's get into it. First up is Skuo. It's an electric wheelchair that can climb stairs. Check this out. This is a wild. It's built with sensors that constantly measure the ground and is supposed to recognize obstacles and changes, such as the end of a staircase. Its creators hope it'll help people move around more efficiently and wants to bring the device to the U.S. Also to help with mobility, L'Oreal created Hapta. It's a smart makeup applicator for users with limited hand and arm mobility. One in 10 people in the United States have some type of movement disorder that doesn't allow them to do basic functions. So a lot of people that today could not apply lipstick on their own can now do something very simple that can bring a lot of confidence into their life um, by using this kind of product. Next up, hearing. These glasses can show what's being said out loud to me. The hope is that live captions can help people living with hearing loss. But how does it work? So the glasses have microphones built in, noise canceling microphones, and they're listening. And the microphones are capturing the audio that I'm saying, converting that audio into text right in the glasses, and then just rendering it on the glasses. I can still see everything around me very clearly, but when I need the text, when I need to understand what someone said, the words are there for me. So that's, that's really cool. Jabra also has an innovative solution for people with hearing loss. Its over-the-counter hearing aids let you make calls and play music. Finally, there are gadgets to help with communication issues. Wisp is one of the most interesting ones I saw. It's designed to amplify the voices of people who stutter and those with vocal disorders. I stutter myself and I suffered from that from a childhood and especially at high school. And that's why I started my company, Wisp. Speech technology is meant for people who stutter severely, people who lost their voice. So I'm about to whisper into this thing, and Wisp's AI will convert that into a natural sounding voice, complete with intonations, and yeah, we'll see how it works. I'm here at CES to test and see how this stuff works. I bet you can understand what I'm saying. I whispered so low that I could barely even hear it, but the algorithm was able to bring my voice back somewhat. I'm here at CES to test and see how this stuff works. I bet you can't understand what I'm saying. That is wild. One of the most exciting things about CES is seeing how entrepreneurs solve problems for people who are often overlooked. For some with the most debilitating disabilities, there might be so much more in the future to help. While all these gadgets might not make it to the mass market, they force you to imagine a world where we can all do all the things we need to do.